is Eric, and I'm here with the CHRW Street Team, and I'm here with Texas King. How's it going, guys? Good. Yeah. Awesome. So I'm just going to get you guys to introduce yourself, uh, let the people out there know who is in Texas King. Cool. I'm Colin. I play guitar. I'm Phil. I play bass. I'm Jordan. I sing and play guitar. I'm Rob. I'm the drummer. Awesome. So there we go. So um, Texas King, you guys just released the self-titled EP, actually. So here it is. Um, and you guys released it back in April. So um, what was the recording process that like? How did you guys put that together? We all met in Fanshawe's uh, Music Industry Arts program. So uh, naturally, there's like studios and uh, equipment and facilities at, at Fanshawe. So we pretty much uh, recorded it, started in like November maybe, and just kind of worked on it throughout the school year using the studios at Fanshawe and some in my basement. Had our friend Greg Hatchett master it. Uh, Rob did the artwork for it, and then we just Still mixed it. it. Yeah, I mixed it, and uh, we sent it off to pressing. And so it was like completely DUI. Awesome. DIY? DIY, DIY. We don't want DUI. <laughs> so um, I, one track that I want to talk about actually, Paper Tiger. That's probably one of my favorite tracks on this EP actually. So um, what is the analogy actually? What is Paper Tiger? Tigers are supposed to be like these big bad things or whatever. Like, And then if you're made out of paper, then they're not really big and bad or anything. So sometimes you have situations in your life where something seems really big and bad, but it's really just, it, it passes most ca in, in most cases and it's just like a paper tiger or something. It's, 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 yeah, it's just about like, it's not that bad sometimes, so yeah. You guys are playing a lot of shows I've seen on your Facebook page. You've been playing shows in Toronto, London, like three, four shows a week. So do you guys plan on sitting down again, maybe later down in September or whatnot, and like coming together with a new album? Personally, I'm, I'm really excited about the spectacle of a new album. I think the... the songs written. Yeah, already. we have some, some new songs written. Our live set's quite different, quite different already from our, our EP, so we're, we're really excited to capture the new sound. We've really... We've grown a lot together in these past 10, 10 11 months, so... Probably like winter, we'll yeah. probably start sitting down to write more seriously. Or when the do pre pro. Comes down, we park the van and we'll start yeah. recording. Yeah, yeah it's, too, it's too nice to be sitting in a basement right now, writing and recording. We gotta do this. On that note though, uh, we are planning on releasing some singles soon. We got a couple songs in the works that we're starting to record, so once those get polished up, Hopefully we can have some new material to show everyone. Yeah, yeah. I mean, a lot of these songs are the songs we're playing in our set every night, so it'd be nice to have a recorded copy for people to have, you know? In London, you guys actually started a huge following, actually. With just 11 month time span, you guys really grown. I've seen you around in a lot of shows. You guys played on the London in with the London Indie Underground Showcase. Um, you guys performed at the Jack Richardson Music Awards, actually. So what was your experience with that, really, like performing at something like as prominent as that. You know, it was an honor. You know, it's it's it was an honor to pay tribute to such a legend like Jack Richardson. It's an honor to play for a lot of important people in the local music scene. Um, it was a great time, a great event. We met a lot of cool people. Um, so yeah, it was all around really good for us, I think. We'd love to do it again. Yeah, they really treat you well over there at the music hall. Or where we, yeah, yeah, the music hall. We made like a lot of good friends and connections just from playing that one show. Yeah. Like it was one of the probably the most important things we ever did was play that show, I'd say, so far. Again, as I said, like you guys like really grown as a band with just an 11 month time period. Like what suggestions do you have for like other musicians out there in London, like while starting their own band? Like how did, how would you tell them to go about it from your experience, I would say? I would just say do everything do everything as much as you can, give it your all. I mean, uh, if you're sitting around for a day not doing something, another local band is, and they're gonna get the show that you could get. They're gonna meet the person you could have met at that show. Uh, it's pretty crazy how the, the music scene works. I mean, it's a lot smaller and tight-knit than anyone would ever imagine. So you just gotta be in the right place at the right time to meet the right people. You know? A lot of the times it's like the boring things is like what, you really see a return on, like emailing. You spend like three hours at a computer, like emailing or like sending your stuff out to like review sites or to radio stations. And like a lot of times that's the thing, like something you emailed about gets you like, you know, a show or, or you get a review. Like it's not just playing, which is cool. It's kind of like nowadays, 
not only do you have to be the player in the band, you also have to uh, you have to be your own manager, you have to be your own booking agent, you have to write your own stuff, you have, to, and I mean that both song-wise and, uh, you know, uh, just any literature you need for press or whatever, you know, like, you just gotta do it all yourself. That's the Texas King here at the Home County Music and Art Festivals, and uh, for more information about Texas King, you can visit them at texasking.ca. Definitely grab their new album, it's only $5 online. Right there, close up right there, so texasking.ca. There you go, that's the CHW Street Team, and have a great day.